I'm going to do a quick video on this um, 1920s um, Webster vapor system. If you're, this is what is called a float trap, and inside of here is a float which uh, prevents the squirting out of water when if the pressure got too high back in the coal era. And on the top here, where my finger is, is the um, exit hole for the air. All of the air for the entire system has got to come out of, out of here. And this one on McLean EG boiler that uh, was installed by others. Um, several years ago we added our sight glass blowdown. That's a little bit of cut off. A series 400 hydro level. We added this uh, vapor stat, the uh, L408J 10009, and it seems to be working well in spite of the problems later. This one looks like it uh, never had those issues, have a uh, low pressure gauge. This is, of course, the useless 30 pound gauge. And this is a uh, low pressure gauge and uh, graduated in kilopascals, whatever the hell that is, inches of water and inch uh, ounces per, per square inch. One of the um, little minor issues was that uh, the installer had uh, put the VXT upside down. And so that, uh, we corrected that today. There's the uh, direction of flow. So now the customer has access to the feed button. He didn't, uh, because it was under here, this thing was upside down, um, really didn't know that it even existed. So he was adding water using this and it was uh, really causing, causing some issues with flooding because it, uh, very easy to let that go. It's much easier to add the water like that. There's the uh, pressure and if I put my hand, my finger in the hole should watch the pressure increase as the um, steam is sent into the system pushing the air out ahead of it and since the air can't get out of the way of the steam it just compresses, compresses against the steam and uh, the boiler continues to add steam to the system raising the pressure All right, I got my finger on the on the escape hatch and once it gets to about 8 ounces and if you about a minute or two this thing should uh, shut down. Bear with me. Almost there. Thank you for your patience. Maybe just a little beyond eight, eight ounces. There we go, just shut off. Now I'm going to release my finger. It's the air escaping. Pressure's dropping. And the uh, pressure, the vapor stat just reset and fire the boiler again. 
there's our water level and we're going to do the truth test a little bit of, yep there you hear a little pressure coming out and then she returns so we're operating at a fairly low water level so what's happening is that it's uh, causing this uh, the low water cutoff to not really it's either on and off and it doesn't stay off long enough for the um, feeder to trigger and so we're getting um, sort of nuisance shutdowns I'll have to work on that a little bit I think a large part of that issue might be that the return here is um, needs a little work I probably have to remove that uh, We'll check the valve. There's no drain on here yet. I really don't want to shut the system down and take that uh, plug out. <laughs> that at a, at least I've added a much better drain than the um, um, old uh, wheel type. It's quarter turn, so that uh, that'll let out a lot more water, um, and then you can shut it off quickly. A lot easier to uh, maintain boilers with uh, with those quarter turn valves. So thank you very much, and uh, let's see if we can get this thing working better.